The Asian giant has inched closer towards creating what's being called an artificial sun. You heard that right? An artificial human-made sun. In fact, this is a nuclear fusion experiment that we are talking about in the quest to harness the power of the star. The aim is to achieve nuclear fusion, which produces enormous amounts of energy, but produces no waste material. Our next report telling you more. The sun, the star at the center of our solar system, releasing every second energy equivalent to 1 billion 820 million Tsar Bombas, the most powerful thermonuclear bomb ever built. But how much energy reaches our planet? Well, it's enough to give every single person on the planet a light bulb that will not dim through their entire lifetime. That's just a glimpse of the massive power of our star. Imagine building a prototype of the sun right here on planet Earth. Well, China is doing exactly that. It has broken all records by generating extremely hot plasma for seven minutes. Why are we excited? Because the project is based on nuclear fusion. If the experiment is successful, it could provide Beijing with an unlimited source of energy. And the best part is that there won't be any residual waste. So, let me explain. Nuclear weapons and nuclear plants work on the concept of nuclear fission. Here, uranium atoms are split, releasing a large amount of energy. But it leaves behind toxic radioactive waste. That's where nuclear fusion can become the game changer. It also works with the tiny atoms, but instead of splitting them, they are merged to produce massive amounts of energy. And Eureka! There is no waste! And right now the conditions to produce nuclear fusion exist only at one place in our solar system, deep within the heart of our sun. The huge scientific breakthrough was achieved in the eastern Chinese city of Hefei. The experimental advanced superconducting tokamak produced and, more importantly, maintained plasma for 403 seconds. The giant machine uses powerful magnetic fields which confine the super-hot plasma. As a result, hydrogen atoms are combined into heavier atoms and release energy in the process. For decades, scientists around the world have worked to develop mini-suns. For that, hydrogen atoms need to be heated to above 100 million degrees Celsius, and then confining them long enough so they can merge into heavier atoms to release huge energy. But China is not alone to achieve what was till a few decades back thought to be an impossible feat. The race for unlimited clean energy is heating up. Germany produced the longest reaction producing a gigajoule of energy. While the US has the lead in producing first net positive energy production from a fusion reaction. Clearly, whoever wins this global fusion race could have a sway like the Arab world does over the oil market today. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the updates on the move.